Hi everyone and welcome to Ticino, south of Switzerland, or if you want, the Italian flair of Switzerland. Yes, there is a feel of Italy looking for example at the alleys that lead to squares and promenades. But the Alps are always close by. From mountains to Ticino's lakes, you can enjoy your time in the colder season and in the summer time, letting yourself immerse in all its nature and historical heritage. So, what are the best attractions you cannot miss if you visit this wonderful land? In this video I'll show you 9 possible destinations to visit and a final bonus chart. From the Ascona Locarno region to Verzasca Valley. From the cities of Bellinzona and Lugano. to the villages of Morcote and Foroglio. Each of these destinations requires at least half a day to visit. From the city of Lugano, you can easily reach the former fishing village of Morcote, one of the most frequently photographed places in Ticino, voted Switzerland's most beautiful village in 2016. A spectacular way of the cross leads up about 400 steps to the church of Santa Maria del Sasso. Verzasca Valley is the most fascinating valley of Ticino, to be experienced at the bottom for romantics and families, and at high altitude for the adventurous. Visit the picturesque double arches bridge of Ponte dei Salti in La Vertezzo. Walk the Boccia al Bosco Trail, where with the Boccia ball in your hand, you can walk and have fun in the woods. At the entrance to the valley is the Verzasca Dam, where James Bond once jumped. And in this valley you can also admire the village of Corippo. Ascona is a real treasure. It's the lowest Switzerland town, located at 196 meters above sea level, and it's famous for its mild climate, the old town and the lake promenade. In Bellinzona, the capital of Ticino, you can explore narrow streets and squares, examples of centuries of history written by Romans, Lombards and Swiss. Picturesque corners, courtyards and no classical facades can remember you a Lombardy town. The skyline of Bellinzona is defined by three of the best preserved medieval castles in Switzerland, which are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Tibetan Bridge Karask allows the passage of the rugged valley that separates the communities of Sementina and Monte Carasso, two villages located in front of Bellinzona. 
It's a unique experience to go through its 270 meters at 130 meters above the ground. Locarno, located on the northern shore of Lago Maggiore, is the town with the warmest climate in Switzerland. Palm trees and lemon trees give the city its special charm. The heart of the city is Piazza Grande. Castello Visconteo, a castle dating back to the 12th century, lies at the edge of the old town. But maybe the best attraction of the city, with its extraordinary view, is the church of Madonna del Sasso. Lugano, the largest town of Ticino, is not only the Switzerland's third most important financial center, but also a town of parks, villas and sacred buildings. By the lakeside promenade are the Belvedere Gardens. In the scenic village of Foroglio, you can find peace stone houses called Rustici and an amazing waterfall. It's probably the most beautiful village to visit in Ticino, along with Morcote, Ascona and Corippo. The final bonus track is, of course, about food. In Ticino, you can taste polenta, minestrone, risotto and much more. And for food and accommodation tips, read the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. channel.